way that you do that is through a report that's in conversions, goal, and overview. But when you go there the first time, you're gonna see that there's no data there. Why is that? Because Google Analytics does not assume it knows what you want people to do. You, for example, could be running an e-commerce site. And the goal for your site would be for people to buy something. Or you could be running a B2B website where you want the people who come to your site to provide you with contact details. Or you may even be a publisher and just want people to spend a long time on your site. Whatever it is, whatever your goal is, Google Analytics will help you do it. So, starting with e-commerce, how do we set up goals for an e-commerce site? Well, first of all, you've got to go to the goal configuration screen. And this is where, first of all, you go to the gear on the bottom left, which takes you to the admin screen. Look over at the view section, and you'll see a goals um, tab that you can click on. So you click on that, you add a new goal, and then what you can do for e-commerce is fill out one that said made a purchase. It's a template for you. And made a purchase will automatically set it as a what's called a destination goal. Now a destination goal means that every time a particular visitor comes to your site and arrives at a particular destination, this is, that is a web page, then the goal will have counted to have been completed. So the person will have done what you wanted them to do. So what is this destination? Well, for most e-commerce sites, after somebody has completed a purchase, they get to a thank you page. And this will be your destination page. And so when you go into gold details down at the bottom, you'll be able to fill in this page. And usually it's something like thank you.html will be your destination page. Now, once you save that goal, every time that somebody reaches that page, Google Analytics will then count it as a goal. And you'll be able to see how many people from say each channel or each country um, are, have completed the e-commerce goal on your website. So for B2B, where you want somebody to fill out a contact page, it's surprisingly the same as e-commerce. You still have a destination goal, although this time you're gonna to have to call it a custom goal because there's no actual template for it. So create a custom goal. It's still gonna be a destination goal because you still want somebody to get to some sort of thank you page after they fill out the contact form. And then you just put the name of that page down in the goal details. Save that, and then every time somebody fills out a contact form, that will count as a goal on your B2B website. Now for publishers, it is slightly different. So for publishers, there's not a particular page you want people to get to. You just want them to be on the site for a long time either enjoying all the articles and perhaps even seeing a few ads along the way as well. Well, there's two ways that you can set up goals on Google Analytics if you're a publisher. One is called the pages or screens per session. It's actually you care about the pages per session. And one is about the time on site. Now again, when you're in Google Analytics, you go to view, you go to goals, you create a new goal, same as the destination goal. But this time, you're going to have a custom goal, but this time you're going to either select that it's going to be a time on site goal or an average pages per session. Now, instead of putting a destination page, because again, you don't have a destination page, you're going to either put in how long you want people to be on the site before they complete the goal, say like five minutes, or how many pages you want them to view before they complete the goal. And that could be something like 7 or 10 or even 15, whatever number you want. Once somebody hits that amount, then the goal will trigger. So using either the destination goal or one of those goals for publishers, to, um, which is time on site or number of pages, you will then be able to keep track of how many people who came to your site did what you wanted them to do. And with that data, you're able to do all sorts of wonderful analysis about 
the channels people use to get to your site, or the countries that they're from, or other pages that they viewed before they reached your goal.